I've made over a million dollars with affiliate marketing, earning over $60,000 in a single month. In this video, I'm gonna show you how people are making thousands of dollars per month with Pinterest affiliate marketing. I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. And the best part, I'm gonna show you a method that leverages AI. Let's go. Step number one is to choose your niche and find affiliate products to promote. Two platforms that I recommend that you can sign up to is Amazon Associates being number one, and then also ClickBank. Both of these are really popular and have tons of products that you can promote in any niche. I also recommend promoting private affiliate programs. You can simply do this by going on Google, search for a product followed by affiliate program. Let me show you what I mean. So in this case, I'm gonna come up to the top here and I'm gonna search Hostinger affiliate program. You're gonna see it pop up right here. You simply click on it and then you're gonna see the affiliate program if the product actually has one that you can go and sign up. In this case, I would just go right here and simply click on become an affiliate and fill out the application. Step number two is to create your affiliate marketing website. And for this method, you're going to need a WordPress website. And for this, I recommend Hostinger. Hostinger is a great affordable platform. I will leave my link down below. And you're gonna come to a page that looks like this and you're gonna have a few different options. Now, the one that I recommend is the business package right here. And the reason is because if I scroll down here, what you're gonna see is you're going to get a free CDN, which is gonna make your website a lot faster. You're gonna get access to all the AI tools and you also get access to the e-commerce platform. So I'm gonna come up the page here and I'm gonna choose the business plan. Now the way Hostinger's pricing works is the longer that you commit for, the more you're gonna save. I definitely don't recommend choosing one month because they're going to charge you a $4.99 setup fee, and you're gonna be paying the most. It's the most expensive. So at the least, I re recommend going to 12 months. It's also going to give you a free domain when you do that, and then also that fee goes away. And of course, if you choose 48 months, four years, you're gonna save the most, but just choose whatever is best for your budget. No matter what you decide, click on have a coupon, and I have a coupon code for you, Type in freedom promo and hit apply, and that's going to take an additional 10% off your purchase. Once you click on continue, you're gonna start setting up your website after checkout. In this case, I'm gonna choose blog. I'm gonna click on next, and then this is important. We don't wanna use the AI website builder. What we wanna do is click on pre-built websites and themes, click on next. And then right here, you have a bunch of different templates that you can use. For now, I'm gonna go to the bottom and click on build from scratch. Now right here, I'm gonna choose Astra. All of my websites that I run, I run on Astra. It's a really great theme, so I'm gonna click on that. And then I do recommend installing the Hostinger Amazon Affiliate Connector. This is available to you if you choose the business plan. You will need, I think it's three sales in the first 180 days for this to work because you need to connect your API, but we'll worry about that down the road at another time. So we're all good right here. I'm gonna click on next. Then you're gonna wanna choose a brand name right here. I simply did affiliate tips and tricks as an example. And then I said, learn the best affiliate marketing tips that are working today. Now what you can do is right here is you can actually click on generate an example with AI. Once you're done with this, click on next. Now with Hostinger, you get a free domain, which you can enter right here. But if you're not sure and don't wanna do this yet, you can simply come down to the bottom and select use temporary domain. Then Hostinger is gonna start setting up your website. Step number three is to create blog content using artificial intelligence. For this step, we're gonna be using an awesome tool called SEO Writing AI. I'll leave my link down below it's gonna bring you to a page just like this, and all you have to do is click right here, and it's free to get started. Now, the free version of this is gonna allow you to generate up to five articles using AI per month. But in the future, if you ever wanna upgrade to another plan so you can start generating more articles, if you use the promo code FREEDOM25, you're gonna save an additional 25% off your purchase. Once you're logged in, you're gonna see the dashboard that looks just like this. What you wanna do is come to this part right here and click on one click blog post. Now this is where we're gonna tell the AI how and what to write the article about. So if I come up here, I'm gonna choose my main keyword right here as Hostinger Review. Once you put this in, you come over here and click on Generate Title. What that's going to do is spit out a title right here 
that you can use. So this says hosting or review tested for speed and features. One thing that's really cool about this AI tool is that it, it's optimized for search engine optimization. So not only are you going to be getting traffic from Pinterest, you can also get traffic from Google. Then we're gonna scroll down the page here and start setting this up. So right here, the first thing that you can choose is the article size. So if I do large right here, it's gonna generate between 3,600 and 5,200 words. If I choose medium, it'll generate 24 to 3,600 words. And you can come over here and you can actually choose the tone of voice between friendly, professional, informational, transactional, and inspirational. For this one, I'm gonna say informational because we're giving them information about a product review. You can choose the AI model right here. If we come back over here, you can choose the point of view. So you can do first person, which is I, me, mine, first person plural, which is we, us, our, ours, second person, you, yours, and the third person. You can also leave it generic just like this, which I'm going to do in this case, which is none. And then right here, this is probably one of the most important things when it comes to the Google portion of this. And that is we can humanize the text. So under this portion, we can do a couple different things. One is we can actually choose what grade reading level that this is going to sound. And it says recommended is eighth and ninth grade. So I'm gonna keep it there. And then also right here, we can remove AI words. So you can choose basic or extended. Extended is gonna remove more of the AI words. So if you've ever been on an article or have experimented with any artificial intelligence, a lot of times you can tell and there's just different words in there like discover or you know things like that and you go this is written with ai well this will start eliminating some of those ai words next we can come over here we can target our country in this case i'm going to choose united states then we come down here to the media hub which is a really cool portion of this so it will actually generate ai images and i'll show you this it's really cool so I'm gonna leave that on yes. You can choose the number of images. I'm gonna leave that on three. You can actually choose the image style here from photo, cartoon, cubism, even cyberpunk. I usually just leave this at none and it really has given me awesome images. So I'm gonna leave that right there. I'm gonna scroll down here and now we can actually have YouTube videos embedded into our article. So I'm gonna leave this on yes. I'll leave it at one video and then i'm going to scroll down here and this is also another really important part of this tool nlp keywords are related keywords to your main keyword for the article so all you have to do is click this button and generate it and it will automatically put in related keywords and sprinkle them throughout your article to help you get ranked inside of google coming down here you can choose the structure hook of your article. So if I choose question right here, it's gonna pop in a question to hook the reader to continue reading the article, which is really cool. And then if we come down here, there's a bunch of different options from a conclusion, do we wanna have a conclusion, tables, H3 headings, lists, frequently asked questions, and takeaways. Now for this, I'm gonna leave all of these turned on. If I continue scrolling down here, what you can see is connect to the web. And what this is going to do is in real time, go out on the internet and collect real time data. So what we wanna do is we absolutely want to turn that on. Continuing down, we come to the syndication part. And now this is where we can create little blurbs for different social media platforms. And in this case, because we're talking about Pinterest, I'm gonna to come to Pinterest and I'm gonna turn that on and say yes. Now, scrolling down towards the end here, you're gonna see the publishing to the website. Now, in order for this to work, we have to install a free plugin on our WordPress website. So let's jump over there and I'll show you how that works. Back in your WordPress website, you wanna come over to plugins and you wanna select add new. Then we're gonna come up over here and I'm gonna type in SEO writing and you're gonna see this plugin right here and you wanna click on install and then activate it. I need to update this right now, so I'm gonna click on update. Then we come back to SEO writing and then you click this drop down, and you can actually choose the website that you just linked through that plugin. In the settings, you can make it a post or a page and then you can actually publish it from here or make it a draft. I'll leave it draft for now. Then you wanna come all the way up to the top and click on this run button. It'll only take about a minute to create your article and then this is what it's gonna look like. So if I come over here, you're gonna see that we have a 2200 word article. 
I'll scroll down. We have an AI image. Everything is listed out here. It comes up even with the hosting plans here. It brought in a YouTube video, has another table. If we keep scrolling down, you're going to see another image, another table, another, another image. Okay. And then we have the conclusion right here and the frequently asked questions. So this looks really good. Now, since we connected our website to it, all we have to do is click on this publish button, scroll to the bottom here, click on publish, and it'll send it over to our WordPress website. Back in our WordPress website, you want to come to the left hand side and click on posts, and then you're going to see it right here. So this is the one in draft mode right now. If I click on preview, now you're going to see this is the article that we just created with SEO writing. Now it's in draft mode on your website. Now we want to edit this post and input our affiliate links right into it. So you would click right here. I'm going to convert it to blocks. And then all we need to do at the bottom is just delete this HTML that it spits out. And then you just need to start finding spots where you can insert your affiliate link. So what I could do is right here, I can click this button right here. I can choose to add a heading or a button. So in this case, I'm going to search for a button. I'm going to click on that. And then right here, I'm going to say, get hostinger here. Now I have a button here. You would simply click on it, click on the link. And then this is your affiliate link. So I'll say HTTPS. In my case, my affiliate link is HTTPS freedominfluencer.com forward slash hostinger. You click go. And now that is my affiliate link. Now, a side note as a little plus, if you want to learn how I created that customized affiliate link, it's with a free plugin and I'll show you how to do it. Back into our dashboard on the left-hand side, click on plugins, add new. On the right-hand side, all you have to do is search for pretty links. This is going to bring up all these different plugins right here, but the one that you want is called pretty links. You're going to install this and then activate it. Once it's activated on the left-hand side, now you're going to have pretty links. So hover over it and click on pretty links. And then this is what it's going to look like right here. And all you have to do is click on add pretty link. You can name it here. So in this case, I'll just call it hostinger. I'm going to click on basic. And then this is the target URL. So your actual link from whatever product that you're promoting, you're going to paste that right here. And then this is where you would name the back half of it. So I would call this hostinger. So now it would be your website.com forward slash hostinger. You click on update and you're done. Now you have a pretty affiliate link. Step number four is to actually create the Pinterest pins and then link back to the affiliate blog that we just created. In order to do this, we're going to use two tools, one being Canva to create the pins. And then two is going to be Pinterest itself to get the pins onto Pinterest. So first things is you're going to jump over to Canva. And at the top, all you're going to do is type in Pinterest. I'm going to come down here and select Pinterest pin. You're going to see that Canva has literally hundreds, if not thousands of Pinterest templates that you can use for different niches. So it just depends on what you're looking for and what you want to use. In this case, I'm going to choose this one right here and I'm going to click on it. And all you have to do is click on customize this template. Now we can come in here and start editing the template. So for this, I'm going to type hostinger review. And then right here, we can actually change images out. So if I right click on this, I'm going to click on detach image and I can actually delete this. And I want to use something that's more relevant to the topic. So I'm going to come up over here to elements and I'm going to type computer and then I'm going to select photos. I'm going to come down here and find a photo that I want to use. The ones that have the crown are actually paid for the pro version. So if you don't have pro, you can't use them. In this case, I actually do have pro. So I'm going to use this one right here. You click hover and drag it right over it. And now it drops it right in there. Now I'm going to show you a little trick that you can do if you want to get logos. So if I come up over here, I'm going to click all. And then over here, I usually just type in Google logo, hit enter, and it brings up brand fetch logo. Now this is just a fast way to access this instead of going through the apps. So I'm going to click on use app and then you would search for the app that you're looking for. For me, Hostinger is listed right here. So I'm going to click on Hostinger. Then all I have to do is pick a brand logo. For this one, I'm going to choose the black one. It pops it in just like that. And then we can come up here and drag it onto our canvas. I'm going to delete this, shrink this down a little bit, and I'm going to move this up here. 
make it a little bit bigger. And there we go. I'm gonna come down here and what you can do is put your website down here. So for this example, I put my website in freedominfluencer.com. Then you come up to the top, click on share. You're gonna download it and you can even make this a little bit bigger for better quality and then click on download and it's gonna download to your computer. Then we come over to Pinterest itself and we're gonna upload the pin. Now, if you're gonna do this method, I recommend having a Pinterest business account. Once you get your account set up, you're simply gonna click on upload pin. We give it a title. So for here, I'm just gonna say hostinger review. You're going to actually give it a description. For my description, I said, learn all about Hostinger and how easy it is to create an affiliate website. Then in the alt text, I just put a few different things separated by a comma. So I said, Hostinger, website hosting, Hostinger review, and start a blog. Now we wanna insert our actual link to the blog post. So we'll come back to our blog post that we have written here. And it, when it's all said and done, you want this to be published insert all your affiliate links where you want them to go. And then all you have to do is grab the URL at the top, come back to Pinterest and click here and post it. Now, when someone clicks on your pin, it's gonna go to your blog post. The last thing that we need to do is actually upload our pin. So I actually have our pin here. You simply drop it in there and there we go once you're done here all you do is click on the publish button and you're done now if you're going to take this method serious you want to post as much as you can three four five times per day to grow your traffic faster and if you can do even more it's really easy to create those pins very quickly inside of canva and then if you use an artificial intelligence tool like seo writing you can start pumping out blog posts as well now here's the cool thing about this strategy. For just one blog post, so the one in this example is the hosting or review, you can create 10, 20, 30 pins, different types and styles of pins that point back to the same blog post to maximize your efforts. Go watch this video next. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it or got any value, please hit that thumbs up. If you wanna learn more about affiliate marketing, I'll leave a link in the description. You can go check that out and dive in if you want to start a career with this business model. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye for now.